Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Skylum Software updated Luminar Neo to version 1.10.0. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Luminar Neo. Also, currently, Skylum Software has a huge sale on Luminar Neo and Luminar Neo extensions. In the description below this video, I have a link to that sale. And also, I have a special promo code that will save you more money off the already low sale price. Okay, what's new in this version of Luminar Neo? Well, to tell you the truth, there really isn't a ton new. There are some welcome tweaks though. There is some new camera support. This current version of Luminar Neo now supports the Sony Z or ZV-E1 and the Sony FX30. Also, if you own Luminar Neo extensions and you're in the catalog module, you could get a little cleaner, sleeker look in this version by collapsing down the extensions by just clicking on this little arrow. So that is new. You could collapse those down. Now with this version of Luminar Neo, they claim that they've improved upscale AI. You may know that I've done a video on upscale AI where I thought, in my opinion, that it wasn't very good. I didn't think it worked very well, particularly on images that had people in them and you use the face enhancer AI feature. Well, let's try it. I have that same exact image I used in that previous video. It's this image here. You can see it's very low resolution, 480 by 600. So I need to upscale it. I'm just going to drag it right over into that upscale extension. We're going to click on these three dots and I'm going to make sure that fa face enhancer AI is turned on because there is a face in this image. Uh, upscale type, I'm just going to stay with the universal as opposed to the experimental. And then I'm going to upscale it four times, like, exactly like I did in that previous video. And we'll click upscale and see how it does. Now, previously, whoa, that went really fast, first of all. So they have made it way faster. That is very, very fast. You may remember my main complaint previously with upscale AI was that when you hit face enhancer AI clicked on, it really changed the features of the person. More specifically, it would swap out their nose with a different nose or swap out their eyes with different eyes. And when you were done, you had a person that looked totally different than the original person. Well, let's see. I have this image here. When it's done, it puts it in the upscale folder. I'm just going to drag this image and put it in my folder with the original image in it. Now this is the original image. All right, you can see very low resolution. Here is the upscale AI image. Now face enhancer AI was on, so it cleaned up her face quite a bit. Her skin smoothed considerably, uh, but her nose looks the same. If you remember that last video, it looked like her swapped her nose out with a totally different nose. Her eyes do look still considerably different, particularly her irises look a lot different. But overall, I think it has improved considerably over the previous version, and you saw how fast it worked. So that definitely is an improvement. So that's one good thing um, with Skylum Software. They're continually trying to improve what they already have instead of just worried about adding new features that maybe don't work quite right. They'll still try to improve what they have. So that is a step in the right direction. All right, let's go over to another image. Let's just pick on this image here and go to the edit panel. Here's another new tweak that I, I really like. Uh, go to the, the develop tool and you'll notice there's now a little eye here. Click on that little eye and it will give you some information about the develop tool. That little eye is on all of the tools and all of the ex extensions you have installed. So this I think is really useful. If you come down to a tool you might not use as much like color harmony, you roll that open, it has the little eye there. You could click on it and you could see what the color harmony tool does. So that's nice. And as I mentioned, it's there with extensions as well. Now that kind of segues into what I want to talk about. Another feature here is that they've done interface changes for noiseless AI, super sharp AI and magic light AI. So to tell you the truth, I can't see what's different about these tools. Now it's just an interface change. It's not really uh, anything about how it works. For example, this is an image with a lot of noise. I'll open up noiseless AI and it looks pretty much the same to me. Unfortunately, I can't run the previous version of Luminar Neo concurrently with the current version of Luminar Neo on my machine. 
So I really don't know what's different about this. If anyone knows what interface change was done to Noiseless AI, SuperSharp AI, and Magic Light AI, let us know in the comments below. Now I'll just go through it saying to use the high adjustment, so I'll use that. You can see that it does this geometric like pattern thing that it's thinking, and it does a good job still. It removed the noise pretty well, but this pretty much looks the same to me. Someone could let me know in the comments below what's different. I'd appreciate it. All right. Now, they've also now done in performance and stability improvements to Face AI, Mask AI, and Sky AI. And that, let's see, I know I've never really had any problems with those running. Again, that's uh, Face AI, Mask AI, and Sky AI. But I had, in the past, received some emails from people saying that their machine consistently crashed when they tried using, specifically it was more mask AI, uh, but I've never had those issues. So we have this image here, uh, but they have performance improvements. So let's, let's see how fast it could replace the sky. So we'll go to the edit panel, we'll go to sky AI, we'll roll that open, and I'll just click on a random sky. And yeah, that, that was pretty fast. So that's nice too. They've improved the speed of, again, face AI, mask AI, and sky AI. Now, of course, they claim they fixed a bunch of bugs and stuff. And the final thing they did, this little extra button here, you click on that. And if you don't already own extensions, you could purchase them here. Uh, you could go to the marketplace here. You could purchase presets, skies, LUTs, and overlays. And if you want to become an X member, you could do that there as well. So that's available again by just clicking that extras button. So that's everything that's new and exciting in this latest version of Luminar Neo. Again, this version 1.10.0. As I mentioned, there wasn't really anything earth shattering there, but they have done, at least in my view, some welcome tweaks and improvements here and there. And hopefully they'll uh, continue to do that. Again, in the description of this video, I'll have a link to that sale I mentioned along with a special promo code where you could save a few more dollars. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.